Hi coaches, Matt Walbeck here, former Major League player and coach, here to talk to you about four things you should be watching your shortstops do while they're fielding a routine ground ball. The first thing you're going to want to pay attention to is how your shortstop breaks down to the ground ball with their feet. It's very important that as they're fielding a routine ground ball, they go at the ball with their right foot first and then their left foot in that order because as they transition from after catching the ball and securing it, they're going to want to move their feet in the same manner. So in other words, they're going to go right, left, right, left before they make the throw. We're going to talk a little bit about that later in the specifics of the footwork, but beginning with the play, as they're breaking down with their feet, you want to make sure that they're going at this ball with their right foot and then their left foot. If they go at the ball backwards with their left foot first and then their right foot, they are naturally going to want to start with their left foot again and then their right and then their left. So they're just adding an extra step that's not necessary. Again, we're talking about a routine ground ball. This isn't a play where they have to range too far to their right or left or go back or charge the ball. So they have time to get their feet in the right position. The more they practice this, the more consistent they're gonna be. And quite frankly, the better their feet are, the better fielders they will become. The second thing you're gonna to wanna to focus on is how your shortstops break down with their glove to field this routine ground ball. So oftentimes when shortstops go to field a ground ball or infielders for that matter, they'll have a tendency to start with their hands in the center of their body and then use their glove this way to go down, almost like a yo-yo or a dump truck, which doesn't allow them to get their pocket on the ball as soon as possible, and they have to be just perfectly on time to catch it cleanly. And if they're late, it might go underneath their legs, and if they're early, they might get handcuffed. So this move right here is something that is, is considered to be a bad habit. There are some players who are able to get away with it, but they just have incredible feet, and that's just how they naturally field it. But for the most part, fundamentally, as you're having your shortstops break down to the ground ball, they can tap their hands together, but I want them to get into a position where their pocket is showing much sooner. So from this position here, instead of going down, it might go out just a little bit into this position here. You can see now how the ball is in line with my, my glove already. And as I spread that left foot to get into a wide base position, I've got my four eyes on the ball. I've got two eyes on my head, an imaginary eye in the pocket of my glove, and an imaginary eye on the palm of my throwing hand. Once I get into this position here, I want to make sure that I'm feeling the ball out in front of my body this way. That way I can see my glove and the ball at the same time. So if the ball takes a bad hop, I'm able to make that adjustment. It happens so fast, you can't certainly tell yourself what to do, you just have to do it. If you focus on having your shortstops get their butts down, oftentimes what will happen is they'll catch the ball out of their peripheral vision and they won't be able to see their, the baseball and their glove at the same time. And what you'll find is that they'll flinch just a little bit this way and or catch the ball off their chest and have to fumble around to grab it and make the throw. So technically and fundamentally, what we're gonna wanna do is have their arms in this position after they've tapped their glove, if they tap their glove, and start to get their pocket on the ball as soon as possible and get into this position to catch it before they secure it, which is the next thing I'm going to talk about. The third thing you're going to want to focus on after they've caught the ball is how are they going to secure the ball to prepare themselves to move towards first base to finish the play. So the next thing that you're going to want to watch your shortstops do is how do they gather the ball? And I like to call it a funnel. So we're going to funnel that ball to the center of our body because it gives us an opportunity to create some energy and moving towards first base while we're getting a grip on the ball. Another important factor for this is after we've caught it and we've started to funnel it, what we're doing is we're bringing that ball to the center of our body while we maintain our posture. So you want to stay down through the ball this way. Notice how I'm slightly leaning towards first base. It's all going to happen in one fluid motion as you're fielding the ground ball but you're bringing that ball to the center of your body because once you start to separate your feet, you wanna make sure that your hands match the same distance as your feet as you're starting to move towards first base. The fourth fundamental to focus on while your fielder has fielded the ground ball at shortstop, getting ready to make a throw to first base, is how well they move their feet towards their target. So they've already fielded the ball out in front cleanly, 
they've secured it, they've started to make their motion towards this left side of their body so they can replace their feet. And so into this position here, the right foot's gonna go to the left and the left foot's gonna go to the target. We want to avoid, after we've caught the ball and secured it, to take a step where our right foot goes just independently away from our center of gravity. Whether that be crossing in front of our left foot or going straight ahead or crossing behind. We want to keep it as smooth and as simple as possible while maintaining our center of gravity by replacing our feet. It's a simple shuffle, but it takes a lot of practice and you want to make sure that that left foot is going towards your target. So as we've made this move here, if it's a fast batter runner, I can separate my hands and as soon as my left foot gets down on the ground, my throwing hand is in a position to get rid of the ball. That's part of the reason why we center the ball on the funnel so it allows our hands time to be on time with our footwork. If it's a slow batter runner, now we have more time, we can take an extra shuffle. So one of the things that players will like to do in this instance is after they've shuffled once, they separate their hands just a little bit and as they replace their feet again, they can tap their glove. So it's almost like you make it all one motion, but you just keep your hands moving in that position and then make your throw. So the footwork is key, not only in breaking down to field the ground ball, but also finishing the play to make sure that your feet are under you to make a strong and accurate throw to first base. So pay attention to those four things I talked about today, starting with the way their feet break down to go to catch the ball, and then their glove discipline, avoiding the yo-yo, making sure that they have their four eyes on the ball, two eyes on their head, one eye on the pocket, and one eye on the palm of the hand. And then the next thing we wanna make sure they do is they funnel the ball to the center of their body, which leads them into the position that they put their feet by replacing them towards their target, right to left, left to target.